Okay, I got the uh, rail off. All you have to do is rock it back and forth, and it'll pop right out. Had a little gas come out right there, but that's normal right there. So here's the one that we're looking for right here. Go ahead and move this out of the way right here. Try to pull this one out right here. Just be easy with it. I don't want to damage anything because it seems like uh, this car is old and... Okay, there it goes. Okay, here it is right here. Alright. I'm going to get my new one and just match it up. Okay, here's my new part right here. Sorensen. Right here. And uh, here's my old injector right here. And I uh, just want to be sure, be careful not to get any uh, dirt or anything inside the injector. I think it's filthy. This cap off right here. This cap is a little different in the back. But they look pretty much the same. Okay, let me uh, clean that area up and put this new injector in. Hey, as you can see, it's a little bit of fuel down at the bottom. And right down in there, it is dirty down in there. Let me try to zoom in on it. All that dirt right there. I'll try to get that out before I put the new fuel injector in there because that is filthy. I don't want nothing to fall down in there. Okay, I've cleaned it up. I took the old one and put it down in there and get the old dirt and everything from around it. That might have been the problem why it stopped, but I'm not really sure if that was the problem. But uh, I cleaned it up as much as I can, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this uh, new injector in there. Okay, I'm installing the uh, injector. Trying to get them on there. <clears throat> okay. Want to make sure that one's in there. I don't want it to leak. Before I tighten everything down. So I'm going to test it. Make sure it's in there. Okay, I think I got it in there, but I'm going to go ahead and test it. I'm going to hook the battery up and just turn it on and uh, see if it's leaking or not. Okay, in order to test for leaks, you got to put the relay back in. So. Alright, let me try it. Okay, this one didn't leak, but this one in the middle did, so I got to... Check it and find out what the problem is. Okay, I was getting ready to um, try it again. I had a leak on this one. Uh, this one had a bad O-ring, so I had to go to the store and uh, get a set of these right here. It's four in the pack, so this is the only one that leaked. This one was fine. This new one was fine. So I'm going to go back and uh, try it again and uh, see if it leaks. Okay, I tried it, and uh, I don't see any leaks. Everything looks good and dry, so I'm going to put everything back together. So after that, uh, just go ahead and start putting everything back together. I'm putting these two 8mm screws back on the fuel rail. It's 
best to start them by hand because it's, you're limited on uh, the space you have. And of course, use an eight millimeter wrench like this to tighten them up. Like that, just be careful because there's not much room back here to work. And, uh, These wires are very sensitive. And uh, just put everything back together from there. Okay, I'm putting in my two uh, 10 millimeter bolts on uh, in the back here first, off this right here. <clears throat> that helps me to get it lined up. So yep, I got it going. All right, I just need to tighten them up. Okay, I got uh, my PVC valve, and uh, I got all my connections in the back. It's uh, this one right here. Okay, these are the two 10 millimeter bolts right here. That's tightened down. Uh, got another one back here. Got it uh, tightened down. Let me come around this side where you can see better. Um, it's actually this one right here and this one right here. And uh, this is the one that has the two 10, mm, two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, that's tightened down. So I got my intake manifold on. So I got my four bolts on here. Got them started right here. All I need to do is uh, tighten them down and then I can go over here to my air intake and uh, put it together. Okay. Um, after you put your F and filter intake on. Um, I put this one back on, I put this back on. Okay, this hose goes right here, attaches to this. Okay, this hose right here coming from that right there goes right up in there, slides right up in there. Okay, this attaches right here to my airflow sensor. That snaps right in just like that. And then I got this piece right here Okay, it goes right here. Snaps back in, just like that. Okay, it snaps back in. And uh, that should be it. All I have to do now, is just uh, uh, check all my connections and uh, put my negative battery cable back on. Then put my relay, relay back in and start it up and try it and see what it's going to do. So let me check these injectors right here. Everything seems to be fine right here. So yeah, let me do that and then I'll come back and start up and see what it'll do. Okay, I just started it up and uh, the check engine light went out. So let me go out here and look at the engine. Okay, it seems like the engine's running fine, so looks like everything is fixed on it. <laughs> 